You know, one of the unusual phrases I hear from pro-abortion folks is the phrase, no one is pro-abortion. They believe abortion should be legal. They believe abortion should be accessible. They believe anyone that has an abortion should feel bad about it or feel shame. And they don't want the government stepping in and telling a woman that she can't have an abortion. All this, they say, well, not being pro-abortion, kind of like buying the merchandise, the T-shirts and the hats of a sports team to wear around, but you're not a fan. You're sending mixed signals, I'm afraid. Now, I don't know if I can fully grasp what exactly would cause an otherwise normal, nice person to literally lose their mind when it comes to inconsistency and behaving in a moral way. The amount of hoops jump through, the amount of linguistic gymnastics required to somehow justify your position for abortion without acknowledging what abortion does to a fellow human, it's staggering. But there's a good reason for that. It's because any normal person knows that it is a baby's life at stake that forces them to live a world of denial in order to survive their conscience's annoying habit of reminding them that babies actually prefer to be left intact until they get to come on out here and join in on all the fun. Normally, when it comes to abortion, the typical tactic is to find another cause to champion and then kind of include abortion as an afterthought. For example, people will say, uh, I, I don't want the government to tell me what I can do with my body. If you ever hear someone use that phrase, I will bet you $1,000 they do, on the other hand, want the government to tell me how much aerosol spray I can use on my body, how much fossil fuels I can burn with my body in a vehicle, how important it is for the government to forbid my body from using plastic straws, what size beverage I'm allowed to drink, and for God's sake, will the government please make everyone aware that I can use any bathroom I choose based on how my body feels that day, not to mention if my body disagrees with their particular point of view, the government needs to step in immediately and tell me what I must do with my body, which always means agree with me. Yeah. It's crucial that the government tells me everything I can and cannot do with my body unless it involves a separate body that isn't yours at all. You see, a baby in your womb, that is where I draw the line to when the government can intervene. Oh, unless the government courts want to tell people they must allow my body to get an abortion. You can and must step in there, just not the other way around. My question to you listening is how abortion was ever considered moral to some humans and immoral to others. One of the ideas you will hear from the discussion from the pro-abortion side is if we don't allow abortions, then women's lives are in danger because they'll go seek illegal abortions on the site where there's no medical protocol demanded from back alley abortionists. So here's my question. Why did back alley abortionists exist in the past? For only one reason, because Professional accredited doctors were forbidden to give abortions because, number one, it killed another human, which doctors normally try to avoid, thank God. And two, it's literally written in the Hippocratic Oath, which is one of the oldest binding documents in human history. The oath written by Hippocrates is still held sacred by physicians, which examined the ethics that would be expected of doctors, even though clearly some doctors have abandoned 